Welcome, stalkers, to episode 45 of the Bug Out Challenge. This is Blondie speaking. I hope you're all doing well. As you can hear, I'm not doing quite so well. Or rather, I am recovering. I do sound like crap, but I'm over the worst of what was probably a cold from earlier in the week. This is why I didn't bring anything out recently. I didn't record on Wednesday. I didn't really have the strength for it. Um, but here we are for an extra long episode. Now, one last thing before we jump into stash management, and if that's not your thing, do pop down into the description and hit the timestamp there to skip. Um, I'm going to be loading the stash management stuff into the end of each episode from the next episode on. Uh, it was pointed out by someone in the comments that they were a bit confused about what was happening. Um, this had been the third, or the last video had been the first video that they'd seen in the series, and so they kind of jumped in blind and didn't know what the hell was going on, and walked into a whole bunch of stash management. Now, I've taken this on board, and I actually think it's a good idea to load this stuff into the back end. So, from next episode onwards, that's what we'll be doing. For the regulars, I know that you'll stick around and, and check out the whole thing, but for anyone else who wants to, it just makes it probably a lot cleaner to just cut the video short and skip at the end. I'll load up all of the extra stuff at the end anyway, you know, just before we get into the stash management. So, hopefully it will streamline the videos a bit more and make it a lot easier for new people to get in. Let's get into the episode. We do start by stash management for this episode, the last time. The last time we do it at the beginning. As I said, timestamp in the description if you want to skip ahead to the good stuff. For the rest of you, let's get into what we have right now. Now, we have a whole bunch of stash management to do. Uh, from the stash we need, we actually have an upgrade we can do this episode, so I'm really keen to get that one going. Alright, where are we? Grease, grease. There you are. How many of these? We need five. Brilliant. We need wooden parts, four wooden parts from the stash, which is everything we've got. Uh, from resources, we need a few things. Okay, from the resources, we need the firewood. We need the wooden parts. One wooden part. <laughs> uh, and we need five fasteners. Excellent. Alright, the rest of the stuff we should have on us, and this all goes into the upgrade stash. So, bag with tent. Firewood. It's all the firewood. Multi-tool, because we actually have two multi-tools. Uh, two personal journals. Two fire starting kits. Uh, the two manuals. Bump, bump. Photo of a loved one. There you are. Four paper sheets. Boop. One sleeping bag. Which I swear I had on me. I know we have one. Here we go. Boop. One sleeping bag. Eight fasteners. Hmm, interesting. We have lots. That is fine. Oh, it's going to be all of the fasteners. Doesn't matter. Um, one bedroll. Damn it. Oh, I thought I had that on me too. Try and take some of the burden off of our poor stash here. It's suffering. Big time. Okay, one bedroll. Boop. And then we've got all of the firewood and the extra bits. Um, the wooden parts, I think we... Nope, we didn't put in there. Uh, fasteners are in there. Industrial grease needs to go in there. Yep, that's everything. Also going to put the controller brain in there for now, because that is part of our mission, part of the reason that we are doing what we're doing. We need a handful of these controller brains. Okay, uh, what else have we got? Food. Food, 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 food. Stay where you are, my friend. You stay right there. Okay, we've got two water. Two baked beans and the beef to shonka. Alright, moving on to resources. Bop. Resources looking good. Alright, six charcoal. Please do not stand right in front of me, my dude. I can hear you right there. Ten matches. Alright, we have a duct tape. Quack. 
we have two capacitors we have copper wire resistors metallic scrap transistors cloth sheet three cloth sheet synthetic and five mil specs all right medical medical ears one two three bandages and a med kit done let's quick save right there all right tools damn it I thought I had that shovel on me I normally indicate in my spreadsheet when I'm planning all of this out which stash it needs to come out of if it's not in my inventory did not do it for a couple of these things okay so we need a metal shovel and we need three ball pin hammers please tell me I've got those on me I don't do I what are you doing what are you doing with your life okay let's see if we've got the other stuff here uh, for grooming kits cigarettes yeah I think we're good for the rest of that so let's pop in these Bob. Okay, and now we just have the comfort items, which is our stash right here. Okay, so comfort items is the grooming kits, four of them. Gonna use up the four used ones. And cigarettes, three. There we go. Okay. That is all of the stash management done. Now, there is one thing I'd like to do real quick. This is something that needs to be done. These seven porno mags we don't need in their current form. This is a no fat playthrough. Two paper sheets, god damn. We need as many of these as we can get. Just get all of these deconstructed, get all of the paper sheets. <clears throat> Dude died to a flesh. Not good, man. Not good form. Alright, cool. So now we have a whole bunch of paper sheets. I'm going to chuck those into the stash because now we have an upgrade that we can do and it is the makeshift toilet. Upgrading a bug out shelter with this makeshift toilet removes dysentery events and it gives us 30 shelter XP and it will help to unlock other stuff as well. So let's take care of this right now. We need 12 wooden parts. We need a ball pin hammer. We need 10 fasteners. We need 10 kerosene. I mean, damn, how many have we got here? Taken. We need the 20 paper sheets. So we were just over. Just made it, just squeaked it through. And we need a multi-tool, which is gonna be that bad boy right there. All right. Let's go and drop this stuff off and we can upgrade our shelter. I should... Uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. He's going to follow me and block the door. Which I guess is not a bad thing. You can keep a lookout. Alright, 12 wooden parts, 1 bullpen hammer, 10 fasteners, 10 kerosene. And... 10 kerosene, 20 paper sheets. And one multi-tool. Brilliant. Alright. The makeshift toilet is unlocked. And that includes a bunch of shelter XP as well. Which is brilliant. Alright. You just need to get the hell out of my way, my friend. Cool. That is certainly a vibe. Alright. Now we got a bunch of stuff that we can probably put away in the stash. Just for now. Oh, repairs, repairs, repairs. That is syllable. 
Interestingly enough, that would, because it's edible, that would spoil come tomorrow according to our rules, so we wouldn't be able to use it. Bop, bop, let's just drop off all the stuff that we know we don't need, which is basically everything. All of that good stuff, that can disappear. That too. Alright, cool. Brilliant. That will keep because that's sellable. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, cool. Brilliant. Alright, let's get some rest and figure out what we need to do. Tomorrow is a new day. Oof, man, it's late. The maddening itch of distant memories is the only thing I hunger for. Alright, here we are, brand new day. Let's see what the day has brought us. Alright, so we've re-rolled all of our daily challenges and we have a new event to figure out. Let's check it out. Daily challenge number one. Bread and water are the only things you can consume. And that one is mandatory. So we're going to have to find some bread, buy some bread, chow down on some bread, enjoy some bread. We're going to love bread by the end of this episode. Next one, next daily challenge is only use SMGs. And that one's not mandatory. And I don't know if I'm going to bother with that because I'm really enjoying using these pistolas. They are fantastic. Uh, the third one is kill five snorks. We may have a chance of doing this. There's a possibility. We will take that on board. Thank you very much. And the final one is don't loot guns or components. Again, uh, not sure how we'll go with that one. I'll play that one by ear, but I'm going to drop it at a moment's notice if we come across something really juicy so forget that and the new event that we've got rolled is night raid now we've already had one of these before but we'll go through it again description my disquieted dreams were interrupted by the crunch of boots on glass intruders the action is discard ammo based on the number of companions we have one companion so we have to discard nine boxes of ammo so they basically broke in and stole nine boxes of ammo cheeky pricks all right, let's fix that up now. Nine boxes. Lucky we have a crap ton of boxes of ammo. Like, lots of ammo that we can burn. I would say... One... Should probably preface that this needs to be good ammo as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's go and deal with that first. Okay, we need to drop off you and all of you. Alright, so that's that taken care of. My dude, <clears throat> I really need to make sure that you're stationary. You are pissing me off. Tell you what, you go right there. You go right there and you sit. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, that's that taken care of. Alright, let's get into our activity for the day. Our activities have reset. We have an activity to spend. And what have we got on us? All right, we got a couple of large glucose shots, which means we can do the cardio um, activity. Why? Why you do this to me? Say hello to my little friend. Come on. Ah, come on. The delay in getting into the stash is ridiculous. Really need to clean this stash up. Holy crap. All right, so we need one of these battery units. We need the large glucose shot and we need six water, which we comfortably have. We need to also spend an hour, so let's do that now. Bada 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 bing. And we wake up and there's bullshit. I don't think so.
Меня магазина. Well, okay, that was something. So basically these merc assholes ambushed me and I thought they'd rinsed my save because they basically spawned right on top of me, gave me zero chance to retaliate. Had to reload a couple of times, managed to get an opening on one of them. And that was enough for us to have this protracted firefight, which, you know, that was something. Um, hang on, this guy's kind of safe. That guy can't be looted. Oh, that guy has an exo. Look at this. Now we're talking. I need you to move, my dude. I need you to move, and I need you to stay right there. Stay right there. Do not move. Look at this. There's like nades and stuff in here. Stuff has blown up, maybe? Alright. What we're going to have to do... Man, I wish I had a separate stash for this. You know what? Let's just... Let's do it. Create stash. Temp. Bob. Alright, we're going to pop all of this good stuff that we found in here. I'm just going to get all of it in here so that we don't lose any of it. Oh. An exo. You have delivered unto me bliss, my friend. Look at the gear. Look at the gear. I will take all of this good stuff. It is mine. Spawn on me, bullshit. We'll take it. The reason you didn't hear any commentary is I was not sure if I was going to be able to survive this. Look how many dudes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least two of them with exos on. This guy's got a ghillie. Yep, two guys with exos. The rest are pretty heavily armored. They were pretty heavily armed as well. This is all the gear that they had in here. Look at all this stuff. Pretty decent firepower to come and take us out. A Galil as well. Look at this shit. Man, what a haul. That is amazing. And you know what? That was the... Well, don't you freeze on me. That was the hour that we just spent, which was supposed to be resting... Well, passing time for cardio. So... <laughs> Let's finish off the rest of the cardio before bullshit happens again. Oh, we got a water bottle as well. That's brilliant. All right. Uh, let's take the glucose shot then. Need to take one glucose shot and six water to be able to complete our cardio event. And six water. Man, what a firefight. Come on. One, two. Pistola held up pretty well. Come on. Three. All right, we got three more. Three more uses. 
And hopefully if there was any lingering fatigue, this will get rid of a fair bit of it. For... And our buddy here, our companion, actually held his own pretty well. Uh, four, five. Brilliant. We just got one more use. Man, what a cluster. Six. All right. Done. All right. Let's upgrade our skill bump. So we need to upgrade our endurance multiplier by 0.1. There we go. All right, so we'll be earning endurance a lot quicker. And you can see you've already gone up in endurance a few times. We will continue that trend, hopefully at a quicker pace. All right, man, there was a lot of, lot of action there. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting all of this, so... Whoa, yeah, okay. I mean, that's what needed to happen, but... Alright. Um, that's in pretty good condition. I am not gonna lie. So. Let's pop you in. Okay, we got a Twilight Tactical Suit. I don't know if that's any good. I'm gonna pop these in. These helmets I'm going to disassemble. Oh, that one's actually in pretty decent condition. We'll hold that one. We will hold this. And I was supposed to supposed to get rid of one of these batteries as well. Let's bring that one back. Alright, let's disassemble the bits we don't need. Now what we're really hoping for... Actually, this is what I need to fix up, right? Alright, so this is... We're not going to disassemble this. We actually need to repair this to good condition. Because we need this to do the upgrades. Um, yours is mine. And that basically increases our, uh, our chance of outfit drops and parts. So this will make it a lot easier to farm more of the exoskeletons. So this will kind of be a basis for us to actually get all of the stuff we need. So rather than disassembling that, that's going straight in the stash. Yeah. And we're going to unload all of these weapons and disassemble this gear. Man, what a start. That's nuts. Our companion actually did really well. Did a great job of not only holding them off and even, I think he killed a couple. Um, but he also, he drew their attention. Most importantly, allowed me to line up some really sweet headshots. There was just that one, one guy that would come through the door, like immediately, before, you, before you've even woken up. And you've even, you can even see what's going on. Before the screen has even revealed itself, you're getting slapped around by this guy. What a pain. Gonna disassemble this. And I'm gonna disassemble this. Let's be fair, I'm probably gonna disassemble most of these. Nope, that one is a field strip. That one is also a field strip. And we'll detach the silencer. That one's a disassemble. Although it does look kind of sweet. That deagle is in really good condition. You know what? I'm going to keep that. That one is a disassemble. Man, the amount of stuff we got from this. Crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, this is in... That's in passable condition. I think we'll keep that one too. This guy... Do I want to keep the L85? I don't think I do. I'm going to disassemble this one. Got a few things from that too. Same energy. Alright, this Galil, the barrel's looking pretty scuffed. I'm going to detach the silencer and disassemble that one too. And we got an upgrade kit from that, which is excellent. Uh, let's detach the silencer and disassemble this. And same energy for this. That's just going to be a field strip, though. Okay. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's sort through what we got. Because this is kind of nuts. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff that we can drop off outside. 
There's a bunch of stuff we can sell. That's staying, that's staying, that's garbage. That needs to go into other places. That probably needs to be used to repair. We got a lot of stuff from these guys. Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, that's no longer any good, so we're going to have to get rid of that. Alright, all of this gear. Whoa! No, we don't want to put that back. That is critical to our survival. We will keep that. Alright, and all this other gear. Wow, we actually got a couple exoskeleton frames from that as well. That is brilliant. That is so good. We needed all of this gear. And here it is, hand-delivered. Not without its pain, mind you. Okay, this can all stay. All of this stuff is good. Sort through that later. Yep, that stuff is good. That stuff is good. Pretty sure most of this stuff will be good. Yep. Nope, okay, only one of those is good. So good. Just. Yep, that's good. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Shoot, I'm not going to dig that out, forget it. Sixty-two versus that's all good. That's good. All right, and some Kevlar plates and attachments. Man, we got some good swag out of this. Good swag. And we already know that one, which is fine. Come on. What's this? Okay, Psy Storm. Indeed, we shall stay sheltered. Thank you very much, computer. All right, so that can... I heard footsteps. Let's tear the patch off, just in case the zombies get the wrong idea. Brilliant. All right, let's fix up our armor, because that took a bit of a pounding. Five percent. Yeah, we can do that. Come on. There we go. Alright, we're not obliged to use the pistols, but I am going to keep one, because I really, really like it. And I think we are going to take back a good friend... The VSSK, because I really enjoyed using that. That was a lot of fun. And I want more of this good stuff. So where's the ammo? That's the... That's the BR6. That's the AP. And that's the regular rounds. I don't think we'll need the AP so much. I'll grab two boxes of those. I think we could probably use a little bit more of those. So I'm going to craft up a little bit more ammo. Because um, I'm anticipating that we'll need it. Uh, let's grab one of these. Probably don't actually need one of those, to be honest. Don't crash on me. Thank you. Small rounds. Which is going to be for crafting our pistol ammo and the large ammo parts. Alright, cool. Let's quick save. Very paranoid now. Okay. Let's craft us some gear, hey? Alrighty, I'm pretty sure that we have a lot of this stuff. We don't we don't need too many more, but one, two, three, four, five, that should be plenty. And I think for these for these rounds, I reckon another I mean the AP on this is nuts. That's right, I think we said that the AP was better. Because it's only a single ammo part and gunpowder increase. Uh, standard costs 7, AP costs 8. And they both do the same amount of damage to flesh. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's grab one, two, three more of these. Make it four. Just for good measure. Apologize for the rough start to the episode. Was not expecting to run into BS this early. 
Should have anticipated, it's usually what happens. Come on. Aye. Alright, that's 100% condition, that's 96, I think. We're gonna swap those around and we're gonna pop that one in. Gonna unload that one. Yep, so that's fine. Come on. Alright, we're gonna pop this bad boy back into our stash. Don't need to hold on to these, don't need to hold on to this. Or these. Alright, let's do a little bit of inventory management here. Need to combine those. Need to combine those. I'm gonna say, do I need to combine those? I do. Alright. Everything else is generally looking okay. I think the rest is okay. Psy Storm is finished, so that's good timing. Didn't actually check the... So that guy's an expert. That guy's a legend. Master. 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 Legend. So two legends, a whole bunch of masters. Is it any wonder we have trouble? And a veteran. That guy was probably the worst of the lot. Alright. Here's how this is going to play out. First of all, we're going to drop the BS right here. Don't need those. Let's pop this battery back in the stash. Sorry, back in the trash stash. It would have been spent when we did our cardio activity. Let's make sure that we have ammo in this boy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Now, we could roll around with an automatic weapon as well. We could just have this in the vision up here. I'm going to trial this combo and see how we go. We don't have anything that's fully automatic, but this is powerful, especially against mutants, and this would be some long-range loving. So I'm hoping between these two, combo is actually going to work out pretty well for us. Alright, what's the time? Yep, it's almost midday. God damn. Really need some water. So I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Alright, zombies walk through here. I'm going to put a patch back on this thing. So that we don't get shot at. I wouldn't mind selling off some of these other bits. Let's get our companion to follow me. Does not need to be stealthy. Hello, are you coming? Yeah, are you coming? Oh crap. Let's get our good friend to ignore combat. No, 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 no. My dude, what did I say? Ignore combat. Stealth. 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 Oh my god. Suddenly, the search for water takes on a whole different meaning. Now we're avoiding zombies just to get to water. We can actually go over this way. I'm just a bit worried about mutants. Stop. Stop it. Get help. Keep an eye on their direction. But I reckon we might be able to get away with heading in this way. Just not sure about the mutants. Screw it. Yeah, they are heading in that direction. I think we're going to come to blows with these guys regardless. When they head off in this direction, it's usually to head back towards the ecologist bunker. Bunker, bunker, bunker. With any luck, we can get at least part of the way there. 
Our yeah, friend is still with us. Can't see the zombies though. They will be able to see us though. They will have eagle eyes on us. That's a vibe. Great, we've got wildcats, we've got... That's going to be troubles. That's going to be troubles. And we've got snorks. Holy crap, that's a lot of cats. That is a lot of cats. He's going to get owned by a pseudo giant if he's not careful. No, 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 no. You come back. You come back. You do not engage that pseudo giant. At all. At all. Alright, well, that's one snork off the list. We've got another one. That's two snorks off the list. Oh, there's a pseudo giant over there. Uh, I'm going to get this guy to wait here because I don't want him to head over there and get himself killed. Alright, I'm going to see if I can loot these cats. Ooh, there was a lot of stuff on him. There are a lot of cats here. Did I see three? Or four? I thought I saw four. Yeah, the pseudo will stay where he is. So many mutants. Alright. Let's fill these up. Do you know what? After all of that, Let's use these up. What I can do, because that will give me two more bottles. Same. So it'll give me two bottles that I can then fill up. I'll have four canteens. How brilliant. How brilliant. We haven't even started the episode yet. Nuts. Was this the other one? No. Looted that one. Snorks. Trying to be all snorky. Now, how's that armor looking? 96%. It'll be enough to start raising suspicion. Need to be careful. Alright. We have stuff to sell, so let's get rid of all of this. Rivet. Alright, we need some of these field armor toolkits. I'm going to grab these. They are going to be very, very helpful. Okay, all of this stuff is sellable. Take it all, my friend. Like now we have all of this gear here to sell, which is great. Technically, I should trash this. I just want to get it out of my inventory. I don't care. Alright. That's a bit of extra cash. Now... Are you coming? Are you following me? Why are you just standing there? Alright, we're going to go for a quick run up to Yanta. Sorry, Yanov Station. Yanta. Up to Yanov Station. Trade up some gear. Get rid of these silences. I hear things. I hear things. That's coming from the base. Something's gone inside the base. It's attacking one of the vendors. Yep. It's right at the front there. Sounds like a side dog.
Well. You're just gonna let this guy munch on your loins? Tame, my dude. Very tame. Uh, never a dull moment here in the zone. Okay, let's buy this. I need all of this stuff. Now, we do need some of this stuff as well. I don't think it's worth grabbing any of this stuff just yet because we still have this episode to play out yet and that's going to happen up north. So, do I want to keep the... Yeah, I'll keep the meat because we can sell that off somewhere better. Hey, 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 hey. No, you don't. I killed the dog. It's mine. Clown. I was going to say, is my friend coming? Is he... Are you here? Do I have to come and get you? No parts obtained. Uh, yeah, it's actually not bad, but I'm going to disassemble it. And... Let's detach the scope on this and disassemble that. Alright. Cool, we got gear to sell. Let's do this. Alright, nice little chunk of cash. Yes, it's looking good. Two backpacks. Tempted to get a third. And by tempted, I mean, let's do this. One wood, definitely need that. Um, I know that I need gas canister and this, but that weigh a lot. And not that interested right now. Maybe on the way back. Alright, let's sell off these other bits that are no good. Okay, everything else looks good. Done. What do we got here in the way of... Yeah, we got some decent kits here. Let's grab those too, because we need those for repairs. What else have we got here? Alright, this guy's got like a full inventory now. Very nice, very sexy. My man. Alright, I'm happy enough with all this. I don't know where my guy's gone. You know what? Let's just teleport him in. There you are. My dude? Come to me when I call you. This is what you are for. All of this can stay with you. Including the ammo that we don't need. Mutant meat. Nades. Don't need quite that many nades. Alright, cool. Happy. I'm very happy. Let's fix this up. Yeah, that should be enough. All right. Now we need to travel. And we need to do it. Shouldn't need to do it away from prying eyes, but we're going to. Because I don't want to trigger anyone. All right, let's figure this out. I should probably quick save before I do this. You know what the zone is like, Blondie. Come on. Because we are heading deep, deep north. We have a stash right here in the northern... CNNPP, CNNNPPPP, and we're heading up into a Le Generators, one of the more dangerous, one of the most dangerous areas, I would say. Let's do this. All right, here we are. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's see if we can get down without killing ourselves. Now, the question is, what other stuff do we have between us and the fast travel point? Just over here. There can be stuff hiding in this area here. I've been ambushed by stuff in there before. Hey, look at you. I like it. 
and two of these. That's brilliant. Cool. All right, I'm happy. Um. All right, I'm not seeing anything really stick out at me, so oh, let's see if we can make this happen. E. Fuck all. Alright, I'm gonna drop down in a second. And we'll get our guy to spawn on us. And you come. There we are. Okay. He's just as gullible as we are. Alright. This is not the area we need, it's just over this way. However, rather than be out in the open completely, we are just going to scout this area real nice like it is possible to get ambushed. We need cover. If there is a controller hiding out here, and we get caught in this open stretch, we're pretty much done. I've been caught out by controllers, I've been caught out by chimeras here, pseudo giants. Just about anything nasty that can spawn will spawn in this area. Lucky for us, there was nothing right there this time. Nothing to stop us on our hunt for the controller brains. Would have been great if we could have had a controller. Not seeing anything super nasty. Alright, looks like we have something pinging around here. Look at this guy, gonna walk straight into it. It's telling me there's something here, but I can't see anything. There we go, we got it. Let's do this, my friend. With extreme prejudice. Prejudice. Come on. The other thing that we need to worry about in here is shelter. Alright, something I forgot to grab. Oh. Something I forgot to grab was food. I'm hoping that we can trade with some of our monolith brothers here. I'll tear the patch off. There's only monolith in this area. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Good man. Alright, we're going to make a beeline for the monolith base. I'd like to get us set up there first. Hello. Thank you. What the hell? The reason I had this out is because there are anomalies everywhere in this area, and they can be deviously hard to spot. There can also be mutants just screaming over the hillside here. Very hard to spot. Quite easy for a Chimera to sneak up in this area too. There are plenty of those. Oh. Okay. Can't remember if there are any stashes here. Might not be. 
I can hear something. I can hear something. Alright, the other thing we're going to avoid is the minefield over by the monolith base. I'm going to go around that. Basically head towards that car and then follow the road up. Hope that we don't run into too much trouble along the way. Oh, we got some trouble up there. That's a pseudo-giant. Someone took it out. Alright, now I know for a fact that there are controllers, or at least there have been controllers in this area. They do spawn here. We need to make it to the road. I think we've come too far. I think we've come too far. I think, yeah, this is the track here. I'm pretty sure. Yep, this is the track. On this side is death. Cool. We're relatively safe here. See if we can trade with any of our brothers, see if they've got anything for us. They've got some bread, breadcrumbs, whatever. Huh. There's no one here? For real? Let's have a look, uh, let's have a look at our PDA. Oh wow. There's no one here. That sucks. Why are you climbing up, my dude? Didn't even know you could. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we can loot around here. It's been a little while since I've been here. Bop. Well, if there's no one in this space, it means that we're not necessarily safe. Anything could kind of come wandering in and um, we'll have no protection other than our own shooters. Which is most certainly protection, of sorts. It's not the protection we were hoping for. Just hoping for some extra guns here. Because we didn't bring food, it also means that I'm going to have to be a bit quicker about how we do this. Which I'm not necessarily a fan of. I don't like rushing through an area, but we are kind of... Kinda out of options. What have we got here? Got anything here? Oh, we got some ammo, I suppose. That's it. That's all we got. Alright. So this tells me that if anyone was here, they decided to head off. They've either departed the area. Or, most likely, they've been killed. We did see a pseudo-giant over here. And it looked like there was a body in the grass. So probably one of our brothers got taken out. Alright. That could be legit. We're going to get a bit of a vantage point here. Going to see if we can... Alright, there's a zombie, so there could be a controller in this direction. Okay, we got more zombies up there. Here's the thing, if we spot a controller, it's going down. We only need three more brains. That doesn't necessarily mean three more controller kills. That was a mine, and now I can see the mine sticks. Alright, well I didn't realise the mine sticks were also in that area. There you go. Lesson learned. Alright, so we're gonna... See, there's a stick right there. Look at this. That one. Right there. 
Of course, our good friend here can do whatever the hell he likes. Mr. Giga Chad. Alright. This is where it gets kind of tricky. See, now I can see the sticks everywhere. Once you know what they look like, it's a lot easier to spot them. But when you're running through grass or trying to get away from something, they're a lot easier to stumble into. Now, I don't know if this area is mined either. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. Ugh, I really shouldn't do that. I shouldn't hit escape, because then it kills the music. Okay. Need to get out of the minefield. We got zombies. Three zombies. Four zombies. No controllers so far. Let that guy go for it. Alright, he got one. Let's see if he grabs the others. I think he's going to struggle. Need to make sure he doesn't die. You need to go down, my friend. say amazingly no controllers yet but we got ourselves a bureau here where did he go you get him he did nope what the hell okay I don't know what I just got slapped by then, but that was something else. Probably a Bureau variant, I would say. Alright, you're getting one of the big bullets then, you prick. Okay, we still got anomalies swirling around here. Need to be careful. I'm not interested in bureaus. I'm not here for bureaus. I don't really care. We are here to hunt controllers. That bureau is kind of a sneaky breaky. Still says we're under the effect of him. Scoozy. We're going to skirt around the outside, because it should be a bit easier to see what's going on. Mostly zombies. Mostly zombies. There are caves a bit further on, which we'll go and check out. Some mines and stuff. They may have the other controllers we need. The other problem we've got here is it isn't a lot of cover. Okay, let's push on. Man, that bureau.
All right. Disappointed because last time I came through here, would have encountered at least a couple of controllers by now. Very disappointed. Not seeing anything off in the distance. Let's head up over this rise here. Nope, not seen a whole lot going on. That's disappointing. Keep some cover between us and whatever else is out there. Also makes it easy for something to disguise itself in the brush here. Very easy for something to sneak up. Surprised. Starting to enter territory which is um, prime chimera territory. Which I'm not super super keen on. Okay, we can avoid that. Thank you, please. What do we get up this way? <laughs> now, whereabouts are we? Okay. Yeah, so we're coming up and around. There's always a gamble coming up this way. There's always lots of stuff up here. Lots of nasties. Very little in the way of payoff, loot, etc. Just trying to keep a little bit mobile because we are quite open here. Okay, that's the cliff face which will have the mine entrance. That's something. Saw something up here. There it is. There's the chimera. There's the chimera. What's this? Zombies. We got him. Damn. I don't know what that guy was doing on the ground there. That was funky. Here they come. Alright. I was going to say, we got something coming for us. Yep, okay, that was him. Damn. That was a cluster. Got everything? Probably not. Okay, we got more coming. We got more coming. He's not happy with me. He's not happy with me. Eat it. This is what I mean. 
This is what I mean. One gunshot in this area and suddenly everyone knows you're here. Good and bad. Hopefully it means that things will come to us. Unfortunately it means that things will come to us. We need to be able to try and spot them before they creep up on us. Okay, I'll grab that. Thank you very much. And we had another dude up here which I took down. Oh, there's two of them. Hello. I'll take you. Okay, what's he shooting? What's he shooting? Wow, okay. No, you don't, you little prick. Fire Bureau. I don't think that was what got me last time. Where are you going? No, you come back. You come back, right now. You do not disappear into the distance, my friend. Not in this place. Alright, let's grab this real quick. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't want any part of it right now. Whatever this guy was aggroing on, I want to get away from that, or at least get a line of sight on it. It's going to be hard to do from here. It's going to be very hard to do from here, apparently. Okay, what do we got there? Okay, was that a pseudo-giant? Is that what that was? was. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Alright, let's move on. Oh, we're getting all the bullshit thrown at us this episode. Oh, we did ask for it, though. Alright. I'm pulling a bit of weight here. Come here, my friend. You are going to take all of this stuff, please. I don't think I need to be carrying it all. Don't eat the meat. And the weapons, I think we'll just take care of those right now. That's garbage. Garbage. Eh, not bad. And pretty much garbage, but take out the other bits. All right, let's move on. Why is there no music playing? This is annoying me. Oh, I likes my music, I does. Okay. Coming up on some open areas here. Alright, this guy's gone nuts on something. I need you back. Whatever's over there, I don't need you aggroing it. Oh. I'm seeing something over here. Yeah, man, I'm, I swear I'm seeing something over here. There it is. There it is. Is that a snork? Would not surprise me if that was a snork. Try not to get tunnel vision on this guy. Could be a lurker. I'm gonna keep moving around a bit until I can get a good beat on him. Whatever he is. Or not. Maybe it just won't happen.
maybe it's just not meant to be. Okay, there's the pseudo giant. A pseudo giant. There's a corpse over there. I can see, see another body just there. Not seeing anything moving down there though. That worries me. Worries me a lot. Okay, we've got something down here. Here it is. That's the snork. Let's let this guy go. Otherwise he's going to get himself killed. We don't let him shoot. Wow, there's a lot of snorks here. There's a lot of snorks here. Yeah, they seem to be getting caught down there. Are they actually attacking him? Okay, you got one. You got two? My man. That means there's a third one here. Oh, crap. Alright, we're going to head down there and just confirm those kills. What's he got there? Well, he's no longer aggroed. What did you kill, my dude? What did you kill? Alright, we're going to see how much of this stuff we can loot here. Alright, we can definitely loot you. So that's, that's one extra. I swear there was a second one here. Nope, just the one. Let's see if we can loot this guy. Yeah, we can. Ugh, let's wait for this to pass. Okay, there's a body up there. There's a body. Yep, alright. So, there's this guy. Alright, so that's another two. Alright, that means we have one snork left to fulfill that challenge. I am hesitant to head around here. There can be all sorts of nasties up here. I think I can hear zombies. Okay, I don't think we need this out. I'm just going to fix this music issue because I really want the music playing. We'll be back shortly. Okay. Hey, we have music. Brilliant. Do you know what? I'm thinking maybe we just need a lamp on. I don't think we need. Got a bandage. That's cool. Let's fix up our water. I have a feeling we're probably going to need to be drinking very soon. To stave off hunger as much as anything else. Oops, that's the good stuff. Alrighty. Alright. Now I think from memory we can get back up this way. I think. I may have to spawn this guy down on me. Dude, he's just right there. Um, you're going to be right in my way, aren't you? Okay. I was going to say, this is going to be awkward. Oh, down we go. Alright, we'll have you fire at will. 
because there will no doubt be lots of BS down here. We will try and minimize that if we can. Let's go for a bit of a hexplore, see what we can find. Don't know that we're going to have much over this way. Oh, we've got a stash here with nothing in it, of course. Where is this guy going? He hasn't aggroed, but I don't know... There you are. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, friend. Need you up here with me. Okay. This place is loaded with anomalies. There are zombies and all sorts of stuff up here. Generally speaking, as long as you're careful, it's not too bad. But it is quite cavernous, as you can see. There are like twists and turns, and we'll eventually come up on dead ends. Okay, that's um, that's going to deplete my psi if I go too far up there. I don't think my helmet's going to be good enough to counter too much of that. Yeah, 23% psi resistance. What else do we have in the way of psi resistance? I don't think I've got much. Yeah, there's not much. Alright, so some of this area might be locked off. Okay, well this has a stash over here. Med kit, sure, we'll take it. Is that all? That's all we have here. Oof. Not sure if I could shoot and maybe draw some enemies toward us. Not sure if that would work. Let's head in a different direction. Oh. Oh, this has been really disappointing. Killed a lot of good mutants. We'll get a bit of money for all the hides and things, but really didn't get what we came here for. Like I said, last time I've been through here... Yeah, there we go. We're thirsty now. Last time I came through here, there were at least two controllers. I'm pretty sure there were more down here. It was controller central. And I wasn't looking for controllers back then, so it was kind of painful, but... Now, when we're looking for them, they cannot be found. Alright, we need to figure out where this is. Right there. Okay. This will be pretty much the same deal, I reckon. Right in the middle. Burner anomalies are not my favorite. Very easy to stumble into. And the hit radius on them is huge. Alright, well we're still looking pretty peachy here. And that's a high psi area. We're just not going to be able to go down these areas. Is that that's a pipe. Yeah, it's impossible to see anything down there.
That is a shame. I had forgotten about that. Okay. Should be able to head down here. I'm gathering that this will be a similar thing. Should be able to run through here. Alright, I think I can see zombies at the end. Yep. And there'd probably be some punishing psychic energy down here as well. Jesus, dude. We'll let him do his thing. Hopefully he doesn't get himself killed. Don't know why he needs to get that close to do his business. Well, I'm not seeing any signs of a controller here. Which is really disappointing. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Alright, we should be able to walk just through this. So there was not a single controller here. How disappointing is that? That is nuts. Last time I came here it was flushed with controllers and now... Now apparently there's nothing. That is bollocks. Grade A bollocks. It is what it is I guess. Not much we can do about that. All right, well. Do you know what I mean? Look at this. It's hard to tell where you would be safe. All right. Let's get out of here. This is not what I came for, not what I expected. Not what I was hoping for. All of the above. We need better sight protection if we want to go in further, but... Really, I mean, this has kind of told me all I need to know. I wouldn't be surprised if the monolith guys that were here before had just cleaned the place for us, and... There's just nothing left. In terms of controllers. Here. Up, up. So, here's how we're going to play this. I am going to drop, and I should have done this at the base. I'm going to drop a stash here. So we have a travel point right here. Yep, it's looking like pretty late afternoon. Five thirty. Uh, as much as I really don't want to, it's probably not a bad idea to see what's around this corner. Let's see what we got here. Not liking our chances. 
quite honestly. Alright, I'm not sure what we've got over here. I'm going to see if we can... No, we can't get up on this. Not this way, at least. Nope, definitely can't get up that way. Maybe we can see if we can find this other pseudo-giant. We just saw the corpse up on the hill somewhere. Struggling to remember where it was. Okay, we got something happening. Come on, my dude. Not even gonna bother. Okay, there's a buddy right there. What's he aggroing on? I was gonna say, from a completely different direction. Why are they heading in the opposite direction? Nope. And nope. Alright, let's grab this guy's gear. What was that? What do we got here? What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? Okay, whatever it is, it's dead. Alright, let's grab these guys. Nope, nothing useful on him. Oh. I'm going to say, where's my dude? <laughs> he died standing up. I'll take it. Alright, there was another corpse over here. Here it is. I think this is a pseudo-giant that we saw. Alright, no one's collected his stuff. Which is interesting. Nice area though. Is it worth risking a thumbnail? I think it is. What about if I put this away in the... This and this away. There we go. That's a thumbnail. Alright, we've got long enough. Let's do this. And let's do this right. This was the other... Well, thought it was a body, but it's just pipes and stuff sticking up. This is a controller. Alright, so there was a controller here. That's right, there is a bit of mutant infighting here with pseudo-giants and controllers. Alright, well he didn't have a brain on him, but... At least we saw that there was a controller here. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be the only one either. There'd possibly be others around here. 
Pretty close to the starting area too. Whoa, where's that friend gone? Where has that friend gone? Zombies, of course. Could potentially mean there's something down there. Alright, now we're getting sleepy. I doubt very much we'll find anything down here. Tell you what we will do though, we are going to drink. There we go. Just to keep that sleepiness at bay. Keep that exhaustion level low. Low as we can. I don't know how much I expect to find down here. If I'm being perfectly honest. Probably not a huge amount. But I am going to check. Alright, however, there's not a lot of stuff registering. Damn. There's not a lot of stuff registering on my detector, but I can clearly see that there are anomalies here. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Largely because this is a new area, I suspect, and they haven't been marked properly. Alright, we are going to head back to the exit point, and I'm probably just going to fast travel back, I reckon. It is late-ish. Yeah, see, we're starting to get really sleepy now. Okay, switch off the headlamp. Come on. Hop. There we go. Alright, so we have a stash here. Means that we can at least fast travel here if we want to, and it'll put us right in the thick of the action if we do. Probably should have put a fast travel point over at the monolith checkpoint there. Have we got anyone over there still? Still no. There is no one monolith in this area at all. And possibly nothing left alive now that we've come through. Lots of good stuff. But still, ultimately, not what we needed. Bada bada bada. Okay. Looks like we have a bit of junk here as well. Uh, I don't need details. I need drop. Same energy. Alright. Because it is probably, yeah, 6.30ish. Where can I fast travel to? Where could I fast travel to which would potentially give us another shot at a controller? I reckon... I reckon this is the place to go. I reckon we fast travel back to the Skodovsk. Because there can potentially be controller spawns up here. That will give us another crack at it. So today may not be a complete bust. Before we do this, you need to wait here. And avert your gaze. We're going to reattach our patch. Alright. Let's fast travel and see if we can make this happen. Uh, where you at? There you are. We can even turn a quest in. How good is that? All right, let's have a look here. Hello, friend. Not much in the way of all the sorts of things we need. Oh, that's a 
crash. Let's try that again with love. Now. I think before we go and do anything too special. Let's go and hunt for this controller. Alright, well you can see that water no longer helps me. Let's see what we got over here. See if we can see him roaming around. Sometimes you can. It's not looking too promising at the moment. I want to try and get this done before the sunlight disappears. I'm going to get our guy to spawn to us. There we go. Alright, cool. Let's make this happen. Let's make magic happen. Let's see if we can... See if we can get our kill for the day. Don't like our cover out here. Really not that great. Gonna have to rely on spotting this guy first, getting the drop on him. That's a thing. Alright, that's our fifth snork. We'll take it. If there's a controller in the area, he should have heard us. have our sniper rifle out ready just in case. Man, it is not looking likely. Oof, ouch. That's my bad. That's my bad. So all of the regular locations that usually have controllers are completely dry. Well, that's something else, I guess. Who we got down here? Zombified. Yeah, maybe not shoot at them, please. I don't really need their attention. Just follow me in this direction, dude. Seriously, come on. Come on. This away. Leave the zombies alone. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping we could get at least one controller. Now I'm trying to think, off the top of my head, whether there are any other good locations in this area that are relatively close by. There is one spot here, potentially. Okay, we've got some zombified up here. Again, we could check this area here to see if we get anything, get any hits. I don't like our chances, but we're out here, so I guess. Certainly couldn't hurt any, I don't think. Let's go and check. Maybe we get lucky. At this point, I'll take luck. Starting to get a bit dark now. I want to try and get as much of this done before sunlight disappears. We are not going down there. Okay. This view over here should give us some indication whether there's any life over there. seen anything. Probably means that something's lurking there. Not 
not seeing anything. Which is interesting. We'll take those. We'll take anything we find. Okay. I can hear what sounds like burner anomalies. Yep, there's something right here. You watch, it's not appearing on my detector. There it is. That is a problem. That is a big problem. Alright. The only other thing that I could think of, maybe. Alright, we got monolith. Ah, oh, Sin. We got Sin over there. Maybe we head back towards this area here. Maybe we get lucky with a spawn here. That's the only other thing I can think of. Sounds like us at the Skodovsk. Probably under attack again. What was that? I think I could... I swear I can hear something, but it might just be frogs. Yep, it's frogs. Alright, let's see what we got up here. It's probably pseudo giants and all other manner of crap up here. Oh, we got an endurance level up. That's cool. I'll take that. the way this is going to turn out. Strong impression of bullshit. Why is that guy not dying? I could circumvent this by taking the patch off. That looks like something in there. That's something in there, alright. Yeah, we got a lot of dudes down there. Funny thing is, if there was a controller around here, I would expect him to come and investigate for all the noise. Man, that's bright. Ugh. That is bright. Go down, bloody hell. Him. If there was anything truly nasty here, I would have expected they would have come for us by now. Okay, we got a fire here at least. Ramrod, that's a nice find. What are you shooting at, my dude? What are you shooting at, my dude? Random things, of course. 
Quite happy to let this guy do his thing. As you can see, zombies will have their headlamps on too. Make it nice and easy to spot them. In the meantime, we're going to explore. Cantamos. That was a grenade. What the hell? Did you throw a grenade? I didn't think they could throw grenades. Not companions. Oh, that's a thing, hey. Yep, we'll grab that. Okay, dropped him. Well, you know, we'll just... Provided we don't let him... Sorry, provided we don't spend too much ammo. And he's just making us money. Really? Alright, well that's that one down. Just need to make sure this guy doesn't get himself killed. It's all loot. We'll take it. Come on. There are a lot of zombies down there, hey? Shotgun here somewhere. Getting some stash coordinates from these guys too. This guy may get himself overwhelmed if he's not careful. There are a lot of them here. He's doing okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's light. That is light. Now, how many other bodies has he got up around here? I think that's probably about it. Yep, he's not aggroing on anything else. So, let's grab these dudes. That's a lot of zombies. I forgot just how many zombies were here. That's a lot. There's also a lot of loot, a lot of stash coordinates, I'll deal with all of this loot and stuff later. Now we did come through here before and clean out some of the stuff that was here. I don't think there's going to be much here for us to grab, I don't think there'll be anything else that spawned. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm holding F as I run through. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. All right, we'll go and came, come, go and come and do what we were going to do. Words. I like words. 
Let's um, clean out some inventory space first. Get rid of the rubbish. That's garbage. That's garbage. That can be disassembled. I hope you're not picking any of this rubbish up, my friend. All right, we'll let his lamp guide us for a second. Yep, that's field strippable. Same energy. It's already becoming quite dark. Which is fine, there isn't too much further to go. That's just completely busted. I always field strip stuff that has a little bit of durability on it, because it all sells, it all adds up. How much... I was going to say, how much of this is left? I think this could use a little bit of TLC, I reckon. I reckon, let's use that as well. Got to keep that pistola in good condition. Come on. Up, 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 up. Don't you lock up on me. How dare you. 93% for this guy. Let's fix this guy up too. All right couple more of these and we are done. That's rubbish. And that can go too. Alright. Whoops. Now let's fix up our battery situation. And let's go hunting. Of course we still got more stuff here. And here. It all sells. It all sells, people. Ugh, that one's horrible. Alright, let's push on. Now I'm going to try and use a bit of cover as we sort of creep up. It can be really hard to spot anything though. All the foliage and stuff. Not seen anything. No aggro, no silhouettes. But there is one last location we can check. Again, I'm not sure if this spawn up here is part of a task in particular. I have gone up here as a task and taken this guy out, but it spawns behind a bunch of rocks. I'm going to have a drink, I think. Try and keep the sleepies at bay. Yeah, the rock is up here a bit further. I would have expected him to come down and investigate all the noise, but... Could be wrong. Yeah, it's alright, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Okay, here's the rock up here. Really? Oh, 
Okay, I would have expected him to pop out by now. We should have seen the jaundiced yellow effect. There's no one here. There is no one here at all. Alright, so we are basically back to stash management. Just thinking if it's even worth heading back to the Skadovsk. I don't think it is. Honestly. We were going to use it as a base of operation, but... Do you know what, though? Tear patch off. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Going to save. We're going to fast travel. There's no reason for us to be here. Did forget to turn in that task, though. That's alright. It'll keep. It will keep. Alright. Let us fast travel to Yanov. Alright. Where's that friend? Но пришел тогда первый от Монолита и сказал, но не слушали они. I will. Why did you pick this up? It's busted. Take all of that from you. All right. Uh, no. Let's go and sell the bits we don't need to keep. Oh, привет. Привет. Actually, you know what? They even have a couple of... Oh, we've got seven filled armor toolkits. One more. Just to round it out, I reckon. Okay, what do we got here? That one, that one, that one, that one. That's garbage. Oof, so much garbage. That's garbage. Sixty-two. Oh wow, that's a lot of garbage. We collected a lot of garbage. Not surprising. Taking out a bunch of zombies. It's always going to happen. And just a little bit more. There we go. There we go, it's almost a grand. That is very sexy, very nice. We have a couple of jewelry boxes that we can sell off as well for a bit of extra cash. And of course we have some grapes here too which we could sell off. Um, what do we got in the way of... Okay, we got two backpacks. I'm getting sick of manually hoofing it to the ecologist bunker, so I reckon I'm going to drop a stash when we get there as well. Alright, here we go. Bang. Couple of grand easy. Cards we don't need, they're sellables now, so let's get rid of those. Alright, cool. Everything else is looking peachy. Could potentially get some more jerry can and some more gas balloon. It's a bit pricey, I think I'm going to hold on to those for now. Yep, I reckon that's the way we'll do it. Alright. Gonna manually travel down to the ecologist bunker and then we'll set ourselves up with a travel point there. Sounds like a great way to go. Alright. Unisig is kicking around here. Brilliant. Where is our friend? Alright, there's some water over here. I need to refill. 
Uh, that's our friend. I want to see if we can sneak in here. Alright, cool. We got one. Get some cover shortly. Sub a grenade. He's an experienced stalker. Well, that is not me, my friend. Ah. All right, let's get rid of all of this gear that we don't need. Five grand straight off, man. Boom. That's a lot of cash. 20k. Very nice. Alright, what other meds do we have here that we can grab from this guy? Not much, I don't think. He's got firewood, but we don't need that anymore. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Cool. All right. Gonna drop the stash here. Makes it nice and easy to travel around and not get spotted. Easy. All right. And this is exactly where we are going to fast travel from. Right into our base. Nice and easy. All right. Well, fast travel said, screw you, Blondie. Ah. Let's try that again. Sell all of this good stuff. Cash. Money. Create the stash. Right here. Quick save. Now, let's try and fast travel again. Alright. Finally. Finally. That looks like... Okay, zombies. Alright, let's fast travel that guy to us. There we go. Brilliant. Now, what's the time? Okay, 10 o'clock. So, we got plenty of time. Alright, we're going to get into some stash management. Now, the pain point of this is that um, I normally go offline to organize what I'm going to do before I do stash management because it's usually a little bit involved. So, going to do a cut. You're going to see a cut and then we'll get into it. Let's do this. Alright, stash is planned out and we are ready to go. Now, for those who don't want to stick around, thank you very much for watching. Please do me the fa please do me the favor. Please do me a favor, like and subscribe, share this video if you know other communities that would enjoy watching this sort of stuff, and I'll see you in the next episode. For everyone else, we've got a whole bunch of stash management to do and we have an upgrade to finally unlock. Now, before we do any of this stuff, we actually need to buy some gear. So, let's quickly hop over to the ecologist bunker. And we will spawn on top, because of course we will. This is the part. Yes, this one. This one. Easy, steady, steady, steady. Pivot. Pivot. Здравствуй. Здравствуй. Alright, we have a few things we need to get. Because we need to do some crafting. Okay, four uses of this. We need one of these. And we need a multi-tool. Pretty sure that was multi-tool, heavy sewing kit. Yep. Done. Alright, cool bananas. That is all we need from these guys. So we are now going to... Fast travel back. And here we are outside because of course... Hopefully our friend hasn't run too far away. Hopefully, Unisig doesn't head in this direction. Alright, let's get to crafting some good stuff. Actually, before we do any of that, there are a few things we need to disassemble and whatnot. So, let's take care of all of that. 
Alright, there's a whole bunch of old ammo in here that needs to be disassembled. Alright. Take this all on with me, whether we can actually... This is a lot of stuff, man. This is a lot of stuff to disassemble. Yep, this is quite a lot. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get through all of this stuff. I think we absolutely could if we didn't have to... We have to go through all of these animations. You know what? I do want to keep... Come on. I do want to keep some of these grooming kits. Um, so I'm going to pop these back in. Did not think that one through. Man, we're low on these rounds already. Burned through quite a few. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized we put... We put away rounds that we really want to keep on us. One of these... There were other rounds. There were other rounds. These rounds. Yes. This. Okay, all of that can stay. Alright, so forget those. Greetings, friend. Okay, let's disassemble some other gear. There's an old headlamp. There's actually a couple of old headlamps. I do need to do this semi quickly because we are getting very tired. That should help a little bit. Yeah, go into stealth mode, buddy, so that I can actually see things. Uh, we can disassemble this. Can disassemble this. It'll give us all the bits. Okay, uh, now we can craft some gear. So, here's what we're going to craft. I really want to craft an exo kit, exo repair kit. So, we're going to need expert tools, craft. Uh, repair toolkits, EXO. Now we've got all of the good stuff we need. Craft. Brilliant. You can see where this is going. I want to repair that EXO kit. That EXO suit, not the EXO kit. Come on. Shamo. Thinking, thinking. There we go. Lots of thinking. Alright, this has put us overweight. But if I drop this stuff back in... Wow, that didn't help nearly as much as I thought it might. What about those? Little bit. Yeah, that's enough. We can move with this. Hopefully. Alright, let's just get the components we need. Boop. Okay, so we need these. Yoink. We need these. Yoink. These are all going to be in pretty good nick. We need these. We need one of these. And I think... I think that's everything. Yep. Okay. Alright. Let's get to repairing this bad boy. Okay. So we can swap out this. 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 And this. And that will be enough. Because we're going to repair this, and then we're going to use the repair kit itself to repair it up to 80, 85% plus. And then that, in turn, will be massively helpful. Um, Alright, so that's now sitting at 75%, so we can use this again to repair it up to 85. I'm going to boost it up a little bit with some soaked underwear, because why not? Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now it just needs one more repair. 94, and we'll boost it up to 96. 
Only needs to be 95 to be passable. Over 95 percent or over condition is what we consider usable for recipes and things. Okay. All right, so we can now pop this into the stash. That is brilliant. That is excellent. Come on. That can stay in there for now. That can stay in there for now. All right, now let's actually get to the stash management stuff. Okay. Firstly, uh, we need to grab something from the stash. We need the survival guide. Come on. There he is. Boom. All right, we've already popped the exoskeleton in there, so we need to pop in the firewood. Survival guide. Two exo frames. Why did I? God damn it. Bop, 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 bop. Should have grabbed the two exo frames. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. I have faith in you. Two exo frames, exoskeleton, and a multi tool can go in as well. Let's put the scuffed one in. Safe. Alright, ammo. Got a couple of spare nades that can go in there. Boom. That is done. Food. Really should have a pistol out just in case we get jumped. Uh, food. What is this? Judy's under attack. You'll live. Beans, raisins, and canned tomatoes. Okay, brilliant. Resources. Now we need to go into the stash for this. We need three battery packs. Boop. One, two, three. We need seven metallic scrap. What is that? Okay. Always paranoid. Uh, we need cloth sheet synthetic. Always got to check those. Always got to check those alerts just in case we got hit squads coming after us again. Um, cloth sheet synthetic, yoink, and mil spec textiles. All right. Let's pop this stuff into the resources. So we have all of the metallic scrap. We have three battery packs. One, two, three. We have six cloth sheet synthetic. We have ten mil spec. Okay. Cool. Now we've got some medical stuff. We have three bandages. One, two, three. Got a med kit. We got some sleeping pills. I feel like they could probably be combined better. Nope, they were good as they are. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. And one stim pack. Boom. Okay. Looking very light out there. Uh, tools. We have. Get out of the way. Looking very light out there. Okay, we've got the small bore rifle repair kit stuff, and that just leaves the comfort. Uh, that's not what I'm meant to do. Alright, I don't have that one. Here we go. Oh. Okay. One cigarette and one porno mag. Bop. And cigarette. Pop. Okay. That is it. That's everything for the stash management side of things. Now we still have an upgrade to do. Okay, so the upgrade is yours is mine. And it allows... Sorry, it increases the outfit and parts drop chance by basically 20% across the board for everything. Now currently, exos are a 10% chance to drop. Not very much. If we can increase that to 30%, that'd be fantastic. So that's basically what we're going to do. That's how. That's why yours is mine is pretty high up on my list for getting stuff done. Let's pop this into the stash. Into the stash. Into my inventory. Ah, stay, stay right there. Got to him early this time. All right. 
into the trash stash it goes. It's now spent. Uh, we also need a heavy armor, which is... I'm pretty sure that's you. Yep, that is definitely you. And we need a medium armor. Why do I not have a medium armor in here? I know that I've got one stashed. This is a little bit crazy. Let's see if I can find a repaired one. Well, there's no way I'm giving that one up. Not even sure if that's medium armor. Uh, what are you? You are medium. We will take you. Okay. Those, we've got the multi-tool. Right here. And we'll grab the Swiss knife and the survival guide. Sold. And things just got a bit dire. We are starting to, I don't know, see things. We're getting very sleepy. Okay. That can pop in. And the Swiss army knife. And the survival guide. Alright. Upgrade unlocked. Yours is mine is done. Now where this sits in the configuration menu is... Wasn't drop condition. Outfit drops. Here we go. So everything here increases by 20%. So this goes up to 90. 90. 90. This goes up to 70. Boop. This goes up to 50. 30. 90. All right. Brilliant. Bang. That should make a huge difference. Alright. Now we are laughing. This is what we needed. This is exactly what we needed. Now we can't eat anything at the moment, but we can drink. So I would say let's do that now. Okay, and it did actually help with our sleep condition. That'll come back very shortly. But it doesn't matter because we're about to rest and this is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Share with your friends. And until next time, good hunting, stalker.